All right, you guys, we're gonna start here in just a few, and we're gonna start with our core, so make sure that you're down on your mat, okay? And then we'll get to that hamstring and glute work in just a minute. So keeping that ball close. We're gonna start seated position. We'll give everyone about a minute, and then we'll get started keeping your water nearby. Getting sips as you need to. So this is a Pilates inspired course. So we do a lot of transversus, that deep abdominal work, and then we want to lengthen out those muscles as long as we can through the top of our head, our fingertips, or our toes, keeping our core nice and strong. Okay? <clears throat> We're gonna do about a minute per exercise, and then we'll have a short 15 seconds in 30 seconds transition time. Okay, so we're going to start with the half roll back. Your feet are about hip distance apart. You're nice and even on your sits bones. Your arms are going to start in front, dropping those shoulders down away from your body. Drop your chin to your chest, curve out that spine, and then gently bring it back. So we call this a half roll back. We've done these before, and it's really nice stretch through that spine, C curve, and releasing nice and tall. Down, and pull. Keep breathing. Now I might throw in some Pilates breath as we go, okay? But just breathe naturally as it comes. You have about 30 seconds right here in our half roll back. Drop chin to chest, release back up. Nice and easy, drop chin to chest, and release. Good job. You got it, you guys. Stay right there. Drop chin to chest and release. Oh, I'm sideways. Thanks, guys. No, I don't want to be like that. You can't turn your phone while recording, but I just did. Okay. All right, draw those knees into your chest. Give yourself a little break. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna rotate it so I'm not crooked during this and figure out what went wrong in a little bit. Okay, so draw those chins to your chest. I figured I saw some nice writing that something was up. Okay, hold it there. A little stretch through that core, that works, okay. All right, now we're going into an ab thruster. So hands are slightly turned towards your glutes. You can rotate them out if that feels better on your wrists. Thanks, you guys. You're gonna draw those knees into your chest and extend out. So a little ab thruster. Draw in and extend out. In and press. In and press. In and press. Just like that, good job. Good work, good work. breathing. Extend out. Now the lower our legs are, the farther I go down with that upper back, the harder this is. So do what works for you. Woo. Keep going, you guys. You got about 15 seconds. We're almost there. Extend and pull. Three, two, all oh, right there. We're going down onto our backs. You can draw those knees into your chest so you get a little spinal release. We're going into an opposite knee to elbow. We're gonna stay with that same side for the full minute. So feet are flat on the ground. We're gonna start those hands right behind your head. We can lift up that upper back and we're gonna start with that right side. So as we lift this right knee and oh, opposite elbow reach and then we extend. Lift and extend. All right, are we ready? Three, two, and lift and extend. Lift and extend. Lift and extend. Good. Right, really pressing down into your mat with that lower back. Twist and release. You could even add a 
drop with that foot. Drop. So adding layers to our practice. Keep going. You got about 30 seconds for me. Finish it strong. Stay connected. Good job, you guys. Three, two, break right there. Hug your knees. Okay. Are we good now? You guys keep talking to me. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get going on that left side. The thing is, when I, when I save this, it's going to be vertical now instead of long ways like you're supposed to do videos. So I apologize if you're watching this later. All right, you guys, here we go. Lift up, opposite elbow to knee, extend out. Start right here, reach and extend. Reach, you're light with those hands behind your head. Reach and extend. So maybe we add that leg drop now and pull. Leg drop and pull, nice and strong. Yes, you can. Good. Keep reaching and pulling and contracting. Oh. We're almost there. And break, use your knees right there, hug side to side. All right, use your knees to help you roll up. We're moving to a high plank position. If that hurts your wrist, go to a low plank for me, okay? Otherwise, we'll be in this high plank. And we might add a leg lift in there, if that's in your practice. Okay. In three, find your tabletop. Two. All right, you guys, here we go. Press out. Shoulders are right above those wrists. If you want to, we're going to add that right leg lift and release. Right leg lift and release. Lift and release. Lift and release. Good job. One nice long line in this plank. Lift. And release. What's my option here? Drop that left knee, still adding that lift and release. So very strong in our core. We're pulling everything in tight. And release. You're almost there. Good job, you guys. Stay strong for me. Right there, take both knees down, sink back into your child pose, reach long through those fingertips. Find a little stretch right here. We're gonna get ready for this left side. So gently press to all fours, making sure those hands are gonna be right below your shoulders. Extending that one leg and then the other. So finding our high plank, squeeze your quadriceps for me. Maybe we add that left leg lift and release. Lift and release. So as you're practicing this with the leg lift, make sure that you're not leaning into one side more than the other, okay? And that you're strong in your core the whole time. So you're not shifting your weight. Lift and release, lift and release. 30 seconds, you guys, stay with this. Keep squeezing your right quadricep for me. Good job, good job. We're almost there. Three, two, good. All right, you're gonna do sideways. So we're doing a side plank hold, and then we're going to do a side plank thruster. And I'll show you what that looks like as we get there. So if your shoulders need a break, make
maybe we drop to our forearms, okay? And our legs are going to kick out to about a 45 degree angle in front of us as we press up. Okay? Almost there. So a side plank first. Three, two, press up. Maybe release that top arm. We're stacking our shoulders. Remember your option here is to drop that bottom knee and we can lift that top leg too. Okay, so that's a more stability. We have those points of contact. They're a little bit stronger down. Keep holding. Good job, good job. Almost there. Good. Take those hips down. Draw your knees up and then press out. In and then out. In and then out. Good. Just like that. Keep going. So if this was starting to hurt my hip bone maybe, you can adjust where you're pulling out from some more on your glutes so your back slightly. If that feels better or that bottom leg is down, we pull and extend right there, you guys. All right, switching to that other side. You have about 20 seconds to get there. Side plank first, then that thruster on this side. We're almost done with our core. So stay with me. Legs are about 45 degree angle. Probably a corner of your mat, depending on where your mat is or where your hips are. Three, two, here we go, press it up. Stack your shoulders. Remember that bottom knee can go down if you need to. Keep holding. Good job, team, good job. Stay strong here. Feel those bottom side obliques or the top obliques if you drop that knee. Three, two, drop your hips, thruster this side. Pull in and release out. Good job, team, good job. Stay with it, come on. Breathing, three, two, right there. All right, so you're gonna roll back down onto your back. We have two more core specific exercises and then we're gonna switch gears and finish with the back of your legs or glutes in your core or hamstrings, I should say. All right, down we go on our backs. We're moving into 100, so those legs are gonna start extended out, squeeze them together for resistance. Arms are nice and long by your sides. Lower those legs, start pulsing those arms, reach, reach. You can add Pilates breathing here, where it's five or 10 quick inhales and exhales. We can modify by lifting those legs up higher or bending at your knee. Keep going. Give me about 30 more seconds. Stay with it. Keep squeezing those legs together for me. Stay strong in that core. Three, two, and release. Draw knees to chest, head goes down, rock side to side. Your last core exercise is a Pilates crisscross, also known as a bicycle, but we're deliberately very slow and we focus on that leg extending out very long. Okay, so hands are gonna start right behind that head. Go ahead and lift those legs into a tabletop. Here we go, opposite elbow to knee. Crisscross. The lower these legs extend, the harder it is, but it's very slow. And keep reaching out through those toes. Good 
Good job. Push down with that lower back into your mat. You have about 30 seconds right here. Stay with it, team. Stay with it. Good job. Three. Two. Right there, draw knees to chest, rock side to side. Use those knees to help you roll up. All right, let's switch gears and we're gonna focus on those glutes. So we're gonna start with our ball. And the ball activates our hamstring, which is why we like to use it as a tool. You don't have to use it. If you really wanted to concentrate on just your glutes, that would be totally fine, okay? In about 30 seconds, so good time to get some water as needed. All right, let's go ahead and start on one side, maybe your right side tucking that ball in there. You're on all fours as we press up and release down. So I'm keeping my hips square here and my foot flex with that ball. So I have a good squeeze on that ball the whole time. Good, so this is where we feel that hamstring engaged as we're squeezing this ball. Hold it at the top, I want you to press, 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 press. So I'm pushing my heel up, still squeezing the ball the whole time. That's your hamstring work. Press, 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 press. Try not to be sinking into our right hip. Try to make sure that the weight is distributed through those hands and that knee down, evenly. Good, bring it all the way down. Now you're gonna press up for three, two, one, release, press, two, three, 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 we're almost there, press, two, three, release, press, two, three, we're gonna press this up, now squeeze your ball and release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, squeeze. Good, good, just like this, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Come on, squeeze. Almost here, you guys. Three, two, last minute. So bring it down, back to our singles. We press up, release. Lift, release. So again, I'm keeping my hips square, I'm not rotating out with that right knee. Good, make sure you're squeezing on that ball the whole time. Stay strong here for me. Hold it up top, we're gonna squeeze that ball. Hold it there, keep squeezing as hard as you can. Keep holding, keep squeezing. We're almost there, team, we're almost there. Squeeze, squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. Woo! Nice job. Okay, shake that leg out a little bit. We're gonna rotate and do that same sequence on our opposite side, and then I'm gonna stretch you out, okay? So three minutes of glute and hamstring work. You can do this, finish it strong. So opposite side's gonna grab this ball. Hands gonna be right below your shoulders. Keep a flexed foot now if you're doing that left side, making sure we're pressing into our hands and that bottom knee. Nice and easy, two and two. Up, up, down, down. Lift up, release down. Nice and strong, up and release. Keep breathing. Good job, you guys. Lift and release. Lift and release. Keep going. Lift and release. Right there. Lift and release. Good, good. Lift and release. Lift and release. Holy hamstring.
hamstrings. Keep breathing. Three, two, go ahead, bring it up to the top here. We're gonna press that heel up, 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 up. Good work, lift, 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 lift. going, keep going, press, press, so keep that foot flexed for me the whole time, keep a squeeze on your ball so it stays there, <sighs> try not to lean into that opposite hip, keep pressing up, all the way, down you go, press up for three, two, one, release, lift, two, three, 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 almost there, lift, two, three, lift, two, three, lift, two, three, bring it up, squeeze that ball, release, squeeze, release, so it's a little hamstring engagement, being mindful that we're really focusing on the squeeze, and release, be mindful we're not leaning into the opposite hip. Keep going. Stay strong here. You got it, you guys. Bring it all the way down, nice neutral, up, up, down, down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Last minute, you can do this. Moving, team, keep moving. Right here, hold it at the top. Squeeze that ball, big squeeze and hold. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Nice neutral breath. Big inhale through that nose. Keep squeezing. Exhale through your mouth. Squeeze that ball the whole time. We're almost there. You have about 10 seconds. And time. Woo! Hello, hamstrings. Good job. Sinking down. And we're going to find some stretches in these hamstrings. So release those legs long. Maybe shake them out slightly. Let's go ahead and tuck one knee in and release so that we can reach out towards our ankle or the bottom of our foot. Let's find our hamstring stretch here. Keep reaching. Oh, it feels good. And then let's go ahead and switch legs here. Opposite leg reaches, hamstring release. Find those ankles, your shins, or your toes. And release. Let's go ahead and take both legs in front this time, nice and even on our sits bones. Arms are gonna swing up and then we bend forward. Wherever those hands find, just leave them there. Shins, ankles, toes. Let's shift one leg longer than the other. You move the shift, your leg, by shifting through your hip. Feel this in the short leg. And gently shift the other way. Good, right there. Breathe, bring that heart rate back down. Bring it back center one more time. Maybe point your feet this time. Trying to melt. Someday we're going to get that chest to our thighs, right? If not today, someday. With practice, draw those knees in, finding our butterfly stretch, pressing out through our elbows. Nose, we'll find our toes someday. If not today. Good, releasing it here. Let's get our glutes. So we're gonna do a figure four stretch here. If I go sideways on, I'm gonna kick one leg up and over and have this glute stretch. If we don't feel this, you might need to assist and really press out and assist that stretch through that knee. I feel it just fine without extra assistance. Good, and then gently switch, opposite side, 
figure four stretch. Hold it here. Good, and then release. So if you're facing me again, we're gonna cross those legs in front. Arms are gonna swing up and we're gonna bend over to one side. Feels good in that side body. And gently the other way. One more time on each side. And find the opposite side. Good, and we'll release. This time maybe both arms sweep up and we go forward. This might also be a lower back stretch for some of us, or maybe even our glutes, your piriformis, those big muscles on the outer part. Keep reaching. And press into your seated. Let's go ahead and do a shoulder stretch here. So we take one arm across, tipping our head towards those fingertips, holding it here. Good, gently release, opposite side. And break. Well, good job today, you guys. So if this was gonna be your strength class today, you could repeat our whole class maybe two times and it'd be about 50 minutes. Or you can do it three times and really get after it and it'd be a lot of core and a lot of those glutes, okay? Until we see each other again, thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.